Here on the Global Kitchen, we bring you a savory Ethiopian dish of potatoes and cabbage. Known for being friendly to both meat lovers and vegetarians, Ethiopian cuisine pleases the palate with its mix of spices and herbs. For a taste of these savory dishes, take a trip to Montclair, New Jersey. My name is Brikti Mangustu, co-owner of Masob Ethiopian Restaurant. Today we're making cabbage and potato for the Kalgoman. We're using one medium uh, cabbage, so for one medium cabbage we use three potatoes, peeled and washed already. We cut them in wedges. I heat up a cup of oil in the frying pan. Before I put it in the frying pan, I'll just sprinkle salt and pepper. Very carefully stir it to just to turn it. After you fry the potatoes, it's good to drain the oil on a paper towel or brown paper. They look beautiful and brown and firm. If you're cooking something with potato, it's best you fry them. Without frying, they will fall apart within, in, in the cabbage. They don't keep their shape. When you fry them, there's the hard crust of the outside of the potato that would keep it whole. Now we have one medium uh, cabbage. Uh, make sure it's nice and firm. Make sure it's not wilted. If it is, just remove the top cover. Get a big knife. It would be easier to cut. You slice it in two, and we can, we can slice it into a quarter. Remove the core carefully. We can chop our, our cabbage into long strips. So a nice big uh, bowl of water. If you can, you can do it on a, a running water under the faucet. Make sure you wash the cabbage. We'll cut the jalapenos one medium jalapeno. Remove the seed, you can do it by hand. Just be careful to wipe your hand after you do this. Now it's time to build the layers of flavor, beginning with sliced onions. We put one cup onion, cut julian style. I'm gonna put a little bit of water to sweat the onion. You do a, a teaspoon of garlic and ginger, about four to five tablespoons of olive oil. You see the color is changing to a, a creamy, and we'll put the cabbage. After you cover, just turn the heat down a little bit low and let it cook for. 10 to 15 minutes. Easter Lent, it's there 50 days that we don't eat meat, that we're totally vegan. So we eat a lot of cabbage and collard green and lentils and stuff like that. It looks beautiful and translucent. Now we add salt. I always do a pinch or half a teaspoon. We add half a spoon teaspoon, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, tambric. You always have to have a boiling water on the side when we make sauce. It's better to have a, a boiling or hot water than cold water. Finally, we'd add the potatoes. We mix them well, make sure we don't crush the potatoes. We cover it for about two to three minutes. The seeded whole jalapeno pepper is added to the pot for flavor rather than heat. Just remember to leave the jalapeno in the pot when the dish is served. It's all done. It is a beautiful vegetarian vegan dish, healthy. 
I'll try just a piece since it is hot. Mmm, perfect. Beautiful potatoes and tender cabbage.